Hello, welcome to Tuesday's tarot tutorial video. Today I would like to talk about using tarot cards in metaphysical and magical practices. For this video, I will be referencing the Justice and the Magician cards. I was inspired to create this video for this week's tutorial after my Selenite Crystal Haul arrived, and I had created a crystal grid incorporating the Justice card for a visual representation of what I wanted to manifest. And you were able to do this with any of the cards in the tarot deck, depending on what energy you are trying to create. So for this example and this video, I am using the Selenite Gypsum, whose properties are for clearing blocks and dissolving impure energy, as Selenite naturally dissolves in water. Selenite is used to enhance other pure forms of energy, such as other crystals, archetypal images found in the tarot, as well as assisting your intentions and willpower. I have placed the Justice card in the center of these crystals to assist in the energy I wanted to create with the Selenite wands. I formed this grid around the Justice card, which is from the Hermetic Tarot, in order to command that divine justice be served using the universal law of karma, which is to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. This is stated in Matthew chapter 7, verse 12 of the Bible. And I feel the justice card signifies this message most acutely. This grid is a visual representation of those words using eight selenite wands and the card of justice. By the way, as a side note, in magical practices, commanding is different from demanding or pleading. To command is to confidently use your divine birthright in working in harmony with the fundamental laws of nature, such as calling upon higher energy forms to assist you, like angels, guides, ethereal beings, in conjunction with the natural tools and resources we have been given for manifesting, such as cards or crystals, etc. Positive manifestation results don't derive from a place of unworthiness, trepidation, anger, or fear, which is why we command the energies. So, I chose eight selenite wands for this grid, specifically because the number eight represents magic. The number eight is the Lemniscate symbol turned on its side, as seen here in the Magician card. It is the symbol of the eternal and constant flow of energy. And as clearly seen in this card, humans are energy conductors. The magician is drawing energy from the ethers and directing it down to the physical world. He is an antenna of energy, and so are we. Awareness and focused intention of what energy is flowing through us to be created as our experience is of paramount importance. As above, so below, as within, so without, as the universe, so my soul. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is the magician's message. You are able to place any archetypal image you wish to create as this divine being of energy conducted through us. This is just a visual representation and one example that I have used. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and sharing my videos, and for subscribing to my channel. I will see you in the upcoming tarot tutorial videos.